What's up? What's up? Welcome to my second channel. Hey, hey. So y'all, as y'all can tell by the title, do, 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 I am here with the girls talk. I am officially gonna be having this series on my second channel. I am just Aerie 2.0. All right. And so yeah. before we get to the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications. That's another one to comment down below. Team Aerie all day, every day, dinner night. You know, big things, probably little things. Stop. Go ahead, introduce yourself, starting right here with my girl. Hey, I'm Jalen Day. I'm Aerie Spray. You know, I did her box braids. Yes. And I'm coming in to tune in to this girl talk for today. Yeah. Hopefully, y'all get to see me more. Yes. Yeah, so. It's up to you. It's all about the connection. <laughs> what happens next? <laughs> The leeway. E L L O P E P two three. Get it right. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Follow my YouTube channel at E L L O P E P without the two three. Okay. There, that's how you do it. You got me. Okay, but A B C D E F G five seven eight nine ten. You gotta put the emphasis. The hand. You gotta say element O P P. Element O P. Your name is Anela. Why is your name? Okay, Anela. Same name. Y'all know my name or whatever. But it's LLP on my channel. Okay. <laughs> anyway, y'all, so for this girl talks for the conversation for today is gonna be what do we look for in a man? Okay. Oh, man. So you got different people with different ages. So you have somebody in Nayla who has never had a man. Whitney who's a little older but still yeah, never has had a man. Like that. And I you never mean, no. <laughs> I don't know that. You know that. You never had a man either? No. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's me, who had a man, has a man, <laughs> however you want to look at it, you know what I'm saying? So we're just going to get everybody's opinion of what they look forward to in a guy, like, I guess, and then... Nowadays it's hard to get a man. <laughs> it's hard. You're How are you? 17, but 18. I'm not liquid yet, but I'm getting She said I'm about to turn 18. Her birthday was yesterday. <laughs> My birthday was two weeks ago. So. <laughs> she'll, she'll be 18 next year. <laughs> Okay, but literally. And then when you're out of here, I'm 20. Okay. 19. And I'm 19. You're 19? I thought you loved me. I'm 19. And I'm 22, as y'all know. Okay. So listen, so number one, we're going to name, what we see, five to ten things. You know what I'm saying? Just going on the phone with how everything else kind of good. Well, let, let's name the top five things that we look for in a man. The first thing stability. Stability in what way, though? Cause hey, like you mean my first thing is money. Money. <laughs> I'm playing now. Like, no, but that's important. Yeah. It, it is oh, it, it's it's not in a gold digger sense, but like. Well, I mean like stability slash consistency, like you know what I mean, like. Y'all don't get it. But like I, I, I think, like, well explain it, Whitney. <laughs> consistency, like you know, with me you the same way, or if like if I'm or if you like in front of your bros, you know what I'm saying it's the same thing, or like you can be uh. Showing, you know, affection or whatever in this sense, and then the next day is like, oh, no, 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 I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't be giving off mixes. Okay, so you're saying, like, uh, if you take me on a date and normally if my back hurt, you rub it, when we around your friends and stuff, you'll do the same thing. Like, yeah, it. but not just that, but just like, I want you to always consistently treat me the same exact way. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But then at the end of the day, I feel like that's on the lady too, because men are taught how to treat you, so it's like, if. You're doing something I don't like and I don't say anything, so then that's kind of on the woman too. So it's kind of like, how are you going to allow him to treat you? Mm. Okay. That's deep, sis. <laughs> what about you, Jalen? <laughs> My top thing is... Because I just feel like sometimes oh. it's like a... <laughs> like a... <laughs> My, dad, My top thing is... Okay, you have to cut that off because I just thought of something bad. My top thing is respect. Mm -hmm. Like a man need to have respect for me. If he don't have respect for his mom, then he not gonna have respect for you. Period. So right then and there, how he treating his mama? If he not treating her good, you need to just cut him off. You I think cut that it. cut him cut off. It. Yeah. <laughs> cut. Cut. No. Cut. Respect. Cut. Respect. If you don't like something and he's still doing it, cut him off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He with talking to that girl, you don't want him to cut him off. Mm -hmm. Cut them off. Yeah. Cut them off for everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like, okay, and I agree with that, but I feel like that also comes with, like, certain people because I know sometimes it's been, like, for me, it's been some stuff that I dealt with longer, like, 
than I should have based off of my relationship or something with the person. You know what I'm saying? So normally I'm like, oh, okay, you gonna pick your nose and I told you I don't like that? Cut, Or like, <laughs> now, like it's like a, okay, I'm letting you know, I'm gonna let you know one more time. Like a, okay, it's just like a kid, like a, you don't cut your kid off when they do something wrong. I know it's a big difference, but I'm just trying to like give an example. And like with a relationship, just like how you like train them, like how to treat you. But I feel like the mom point, is very important. If he is punching his mama and his mama is scared of him, sis. <laughs> if the woman who carried this man, raised him, is not getting treated with respect, who do you think you're, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people that be in those relationships, if you look at their relationship with their mom and stuff, it don't really be that good. They be like, you know what I'm saying? That's why, and then it's like a up and down because you got the mama's boys and they just pray for them and then you got the ones who can't stand their mama and their mama not a bad mom which we would never know but it's like a mm -hmm. that stuff is really but something i still feel like it should still be some sort of level of respect you know what i'm saying it's like even if you had like a because i'm just thinking about like the people in my life that i know that don't have the best relationship with their dad i mean with their parents <laughs> like with their mom or whatever it's still not like the oh i'm about to cuss her out do the you know what i'm saying because yeah. at the end of the day that's their mom and then it's like also a maturity thing like you gotta, I don't wanna say like forgive, like it's just like a simple thing, but forgiveness is really for you. It's not doing anything for that person, but for you. So it's just kind of like, once you start letting all that hurt and stuff go and kind of just kind of move past it, then I feel like your relationships will be better. Yeah. You can't go into a relationship with a whole bunch of like, unsolved issues with yeah, other people. Skeletons because, in your closet. Exactly. Because then you're gonna out. like start to realize like, you, that stuff gonna start coming out in your relationship and you're not gonna understand why and it's because you got a bunch of stuff that you haven't dealt with. Yeah, before. like if you, you know what I'm saying, you ever read the stories and be like, oh, my husband wakes up in the night, I wake up in the middle of the night, my husband's staring at me with a knife. Like obviously girl, he has some skeletons of killing people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Like that stuff really comes out in different ways. Like a my husband he has a tendency, like a when he chokes me, he chokes me a little hard and he likes when I pass out. Like what that could be part of his skeleton area. Like what? I'm giving an example. That can also be a part of his DSM. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, like you No, I no, I think that respect is important. I'm giving examples, like a I'm just saying, like mm -hmm. I'm just chatting it up. So respect and consistency. Consistency. Honesty. Did we just talk about that? No. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of the respect. Yeah. Because oh, okay. I feel like a lot of relationships, like, but with men, valid, but like, trust. Yeah. Trust. But I feel like all that stuff comes into in hand, like, with, like, your communication of, like, a, I just always said, like, I whenever I was talking home. to, when I was talking to like like guys and stuff, it would be like a hey, if you want to talk to me and ten other girls, I'd rather you let me know. So my decision to be one of the ten girls is my choice, rather than like a, mm -hmm. I'm sitting here and. Trey called me and like we all go on a date and come to find out he used to talk to Whitney. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just mm -hmm. weird. Like it's like a or like Whitney thinks that she's the only girl and he really has like <laughs> seven other girls. You see what I'm saying? Or it's like a I just feel like it's a real like a communication thing. Like a, I'm not looking for nothing serious. Not looking for a relationship. So mm -hmm. communication, ladies. We gotta open. I think that's eyes. number one. One communication. communication. Mm -hmm. So communication, number yeah. one is communication. communication. Number two is respect and number three is consistency mm -hmm. um number four um groomed mm -hmm. very important i don't care what nobody want to say about the other stuff all that stuff is important too but there's no way a man could talk to me with his breath smelling like two uh, <laughs> two ounces about that you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's no way you can talk, talk to me and you like you know what i'm saying y'all know what groom me i'm not talking about because everybody's purposes of what's cute but groomed is like a you take a shower. I can smell you. I can hug you. Nobody wants to talk to a musty man every time. After the gym, be like, a, and they, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, I just got to the gym. But like, you just woke up. <laughs> you're, I'm like, oh, you're not going back to the house today? Oh, no, I'm good for the day. You sure? You know what I'm saying? Like, a, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's like a grooming is a big part of like what I look for in a male because I feel like how you carry yourself, you're a representation of not only yourself, but of me as well. Like, a, so if you going out with, shoes that look like you should have been cutting the grass <laughs> you know what i'm saying and like i understand everybody's like what they can afford and stuff but what i'm saying is like you can you know what i'm saying like a, before i even got into, i was wearing one pair of shoes we was cleaning them boys put them in the uh, put them in some bleach get some uh, bathroom cleaner and they they still look dusty but you still you know what i'm saying or like a brushing your teeth <laughs> The eye boogers, you feel them, your nails, you see all that dirt, you know what I'm saying? Like a, just a grooming yourself, your hair, let the nappy froze go, bro. Please. Please. We don't want them. Comb go. it out. If you don't have natural coils, 
let it go. Okay, that's that's what a sponge do not work for you. Yeah, no, this is you're doing this all day, you're making it worse. <laughs> you're creating dreads, let it go. That's just how I feel. I feel like grooming is, um, yeah, it's really definitely cool. on that list. Mm -hmm. Number four, number five, what do y'all think? Number five is so we got communication, respect, consistency, and grooming. Well, how do y'all feel about grooming? Is it something about like a man that y'all like that might turn you on or off about like his appearance wise? Um, I mean, you talking about like my yeah. type, like yeah, I'm, I'm I'm saying like a like a when you look at somebody, like what are you looking at, and what can be something on somebody that can turn? Oh, you off? first thing I look at is the teeth. Then it's probably like uh, the chomps. The hair, how their hair looking? Do they have a nice lineup? Then yeah. I'll probably look at the shoes. Mm -hmm. Cause boys, <laughs> me guys, they really care for their shoes. So it's like, if your shoes, if you out here walking around, like what she was saying with your shoes. If you out here walking around your shoes raggedy, better <laughs> go. Nine times out of ten, you just don't. What care. if he's so fine and then his shoes not cute? Shoes say what about a man. Like, but like, I, mean, I can do it. I mean, if, I can I, do you it. Can but fix you can take shoes. his shoes off. Yeah. 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 Like, me buy him a new pair if he buys his own shoes. Cause that's like, that's like, buy me some shoes. Yeah. But no, I think it's a difference though. Cause it's like, okay, I might not like the shoes, but they're well kept. Like, they're fine. But if you're walking around and the boys is talking, <laughs> if you have money, it's not like you don't, you can't afford it. Yeah. Like, you can't afford it. But if you literally can afford it and your shoes is busted up, you don't have no laces in them, then that is a problem. Cause why are you comfortable walking around with busted up shoes? And you can literally buy new shoes. Or you flexing like you can buy new shoes. Your whole outfit is good and you get to the ankles and you just like, what in the world happened? Yeah, and also, oh. fellas, lotion is your friend. Just Ooh, yeah. You. yeah. It, Women are not the only ones who have to wear lotion. Yeah. Guys too. I don't put lotion on sometimes. Well, that's no, different. You know what I'm but like, if you walk around here and look like you just rolled a baby powder, come on now. <laughs> now you know that it's a lotion. Now <laughs> these y'all fellas be it be right here. <laughs> yeah. It be right here and then, if you got eczema, moisturize. Nobody want to see all of that. Nobody needs none of that, okay? Moisturize. The same way y'all put us on these like appearance appearance things, we're putting y'all on the same thing. Take care of yourself the same way y'all want us to be taken care of, okay? Maybe I have want a us question. To look perfect. Yeah, they yeah. want us to look like Beyonce. Can I do chest hair? I don't I like all that BDBs. Hair, right? Okay, all the little ones. Yeah, no. Mm. I don't like chest hair, with chest hair. but I mean, I feel like that's still going around. I don't think you're shaving that. <laughs> also, I just picked up there and it was like, cool. I don't think like that's a trend no more. Every boy had like yeah. dreads all down his chest. It was nasty. I don't see that no more because boys they have tattoos here, so you mm -hmm. know they got. Yeah, I don't be. I haven't seen a chest with hair in a minute. Maybe that's a more of a white thing. Yeah, or more like a older, oh, older yeah, like a. They just at that point, I don't know, but. Or if they don't have I to do a little. No, I talked to this one boy though, and he had hair on his chest, and it threw me off. Like it, <laughs> like, it threw me like, off. Like it threw me off. Like we was all at the YMCA, and I'm like, oh, he's so cute. And I said, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I said to my friend, I said, because I'm excited. Like, oh, he shirts. I mean, he's ends. Oh, I'm excited. I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't know he had all that hair. And he like this grown man stuff, and I'm like, <laughs> I, don't <Nah>. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. I just, I don't know. I just feel like when, maybe when you get older, like older, you know, it'd be like forties, forties, fifties. Like we already married. 80s. Right now, eighties. Right now, right. having a twenty-one year old with full chest or a twenty-four year old. <laughs> I can do a little bit, but I can't do like full bush. It's like a gorilla. No, <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, that's what the groom is. Dang, what's number five then? I couldn't even go with number one. <laughs> number five. Because I never had a man. <laughs> Communication, respect, consistency, grooming, and what's that? Well, that's not really one. Chivalry? 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 Just being a gentleman. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But then, that's that's kind of like respect, ain't it? Yeah. Mm. But not, I don't... Mm. Cause I think it's the difference because I can respect you, like somebody can respect me, but then they don't think that it's like, but they don't hold my door open. Mm -hmm. Just because they didn't hold my door open don't mean that they didn't respect me. And just because they didn't, you know, pull my chair out first doesn't mean that they don't respect me. Mm -hmm. Cause some people just, 
are oblivious to that or you know just like how times have changed they don't necessarily think that like women still like that because not everybody is a feminist and women power and like i can open up my own door so some people is just like oblivious but then you got some people that still like that stuff some people are still old school that like no i want you to open up my door i so being a gentleman but then it's like based on everybody's own opinions of what is acceptable for you and your relationship mm -hmm. okay. i went on a date sat in the car for a little bit, see if he was gonna open the door. He walking in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's get out. He walking in. At that point, you gotta be like, I thought I had dropped my lip. <laughs> 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 like, like, I'm like, okay. I'm gonna get out because I thought you was gonna open my door. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, what? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Number five. I can't really think of one. Like, what you look for? And I feel like, um, oh, I got one. What? Independence. Um, you can't be dependent on me on everything or depending okay. on other people yeah. if you're gonna be my man you gotta have some type of independence of your own and then me too i gotta have some type of independence what's up joe i gotta you know i'm not gonna like as a woman you don't want to be 100 dependent on your man just yeah. like i don't want to have to depend on you but if something was to happen i know that i will be able to go to you mm, yeah. so maybe relationship should be 50 50. Mm -hmm. sometimes ladies you can pay for the date no yeah. I feel like I feel like yeah. I offer. Sometimes. Like me, like for me and my relationship, we have a system. So like in the morning, if I if we get Chick Fil A or something, he'll get it, and then so like the next meal, I'll get. Yeah. And then like we both do this thing, and it just be like a because we communicate about like our finances sometimes. So it just be like a. I'm reaching for my purse, mm. and I be doing this. I be in there. I be <laughs> taking your time. <laughs> and, but by the time we get to that window, he be. I be like. Oh, I was gonna get it. Thank you. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> I'll be I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, or like when we had did, um, when we did this video, like me and Whitney, like we, it's like we stalled at the second door because he opened the first one, so it was like a. I sure look behind me like. <laughs> like, oh, you're in the door. Okay. Oh, second door. There we go. Because I'm like, I just feel like it's like a, it it should be fifty fifty, and it helps a lot. A lot of times the male is gonna like, sometimes depending on the male, they'll get it. A lot of times, but like sometimes I'll be like a. I'll go ahead and get it and like sometimes we have like little moments where we might you could take my card or like mm -hmm. ma'am take this and I'll take the book and I'll put my card in there instead but that's that's like uh, so but I feel like you should go 50 50 ladies mm -hmm. why not because when you argue it should never be like a, I'll pay for all the days no you didn't you pay for money you know what I'm saying you pay for the end entree mm -hmm. I got the dessert sweetie <laughs> or even <laughs> I get the whatever you do <laughs> Just have your own. Cause then you'll never want to like break up, and then now you stuck. Oh my god, I don't know what I can do. I can't afford this than other. Like he bought son. everything. I didn't know. Like, no, no, man. I don't like that. How needs to be in both of y'all names. Mm -hmm. Get the water. Get the gas in his. If something, something. Somebody don't pay it. It's off. Or you can get mm -hmm. it all yours. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go. Peace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My house. Bye. I pay for everything, so it's kind of like up and down. So I feel like number five was what. Independence. Independence. So I feel like that's a good one. So those are the top five things that we look for in a man. There's more things, but we're trying to like keep it to like a, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Quick you know? Moment. But if you want to see more videos with us, if you want to see more content, we're thinking about. I think um we're gonna be doing like a um like a part two. So comment down below some options and some like, you know what I'm saying? Some. Well, ideas, some topics, topics. some <laughs> our ideas and topics down below that you'd like to see us do other people other content you know things like that we love y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to everybody's channel the link in the description is gonna be down below i love y'all we'll not be here without y'all and we out uh, uh,